Hello, welcome to St. Matthew Lutheran Church here at 700 Pleasure Road in Lancaster. We're actually in the Grandview Heights neighborhood at the corner of Fountain and Pleasure. I'm Pastor Robin Farrow and I want to walk you through the church here and introduce you to the church um, as you would see as you would come to visit. We're right across the street from Catholic High actually. Catholic High is across Fountain Avenue from us. There's plenty of parking here on Pleasure Road on both sides. There's parking over on Fountain Avenue too. The main entrance to the church I will show you. We have these beautiful this beautiful red door and this beautiful chapel style look of a church. The main entrance though is right here in these doors and this gives you access uh, there there are steps there's going to be a couple steps going up into the church to the right into the sanctuary but there are also there's also a ramp to go if you go in to the left let me just uh, hesitate for a second here and expand on welcome to st. Matthew you will have someone greet you at the door a greeter to welcome you to st. Matthew and we'll get you a bulletin and we will get you uh, to sign your name so that we uh, know who you are and so that we can properly greet you and then you'll be invited into the sanctuary st. Matthew does welcome everybody we are in the Evangelical Lutheran Church of America ELCA the mainline denomination of Lutherans we are what is known as a reconciling in Christ Church reconciling in Christ church that is the open and affirming uh, part of the church and a lot of church a lot of church bodies a lot of denominations have various open and affirming uh, parts of their churches and so that is the RIC is actually the ELCA's that's a lot of acronyms isn't it for LGBTQ plus uh, folks uh, to attend come step in here to our the door that you'll be going through there's two doors here these white doors welcome to St. Matthew that's why you'll probably be greeted with another welcome to St. Matthew and this is the sign in the area here that you uh, will come to like I said there are two or three steps here I'll walk up these steps with you into our lobby area and then this is the sanctuary this is where we have worship services at 5 p.m. on Saturdays and 10 a.m. on Sunday 5 p.m. and 10 a.m. now the 5 p.m. service is what is known as a spoken service it's word only that means that there's no music that's all that means and it tends to be a um, lighter attended service and uh, more free spirited as far as, as uh, being able to talk back and forth. It, it's, it borderlines an informal service. Now, formal, informal. Yes, we are a traditional Lutheran service with liturgies and all of those liturgies are printed in the bulletin. Everything that you are asked to respond with during the service because we believe in full participation that means that you have the ability if you want to you have the ability to be involved in every aspect of the service we believe in the living word of God and we believe in the holy sacrament the holy sacrament of baptism the holy sacrament of the, the holy meal communion and so in our living word our living God that means that we all are invited into worship to worshiping God and in the worship faith that's why it's so important for us to be a reconciling in Christ church because we believe that all people are children of God and walk the journey with God now before I tell you any more about the service we'll, we'll take a brief look here at the worship space I'm going to take you up that ramp that I was talking about I'm going to go back down these steps 
steps. I'm going past the sign-in area here. <clears throat> this is actually our fellowship hall that we're walking into. That's our kitchen area. This is our meeting area. This, this is where we, we meet for uh, Bible study. This is where we meet also in, within all of this space. We meet after the service for refreshment and fellowship and so that we can talk out what those things are that God has done for us. I'm taking you up into this ramp. <clears throat> now during colder weather times, this would be where you hang your coats. And then up this ramp, I hope I don't trip, walking backwards up the ramp. Sorry if I'm moving you around too much. There's our worship space again. We're coming from a different angle. There are restrooms. So this is a um, family style restroom. Uh, we have a baby changing table in there. And it, so it's a single restroom. If you need that, and there are restrooms also downstairs. <coughs> and here we are into the sanctuary, and this, you get to see the look that the pastor gets. This is the look that I have from up, actually, from the pulpit. This is our sanctuary. Now, I talked a little bit about the sacraments. I talk about holy baptism. We gather at the font at the beginning of the service. We gather in spirit around the font. And we begin with confession and forgiveness and the signing of the cross. It reminds us of our baptism. Our baptism is where we are die and we are buried with Christ and we are raised to new life with Christ because of God Jesus' glorious resurrection. The meal, you may be familiar with communion. If you do not want to take communion, nobody is going to force you to take communion. But if you want to take communion, you are welcome at this table to take communion. At the time of communion, which is <coughs> towards the end of the service, the reason I'm telling you about this is because in listening to people who are visitors and my own personal <clears throat> experience going to different churches, the biggest question always surrounds communion. <clears throat> Am I invited at the table? How do I even do communion? Because communion is done differently in different churches. We will walk you through the process. We will not embarrass you. We will not single you out. The best thing, I'll tell you, I'll let you in on a little secret. Follow the person in front of you. Okay? And that will be our secret for when you come. The usher, there will be an usher in the aisle who will direct you towards the front here. And I don't know if you can see this or not, but we'll pick up a little cup from the tray here in the very front, on the front left here, and proceed up to the rail and kneel at the rail or stand at the rail. And I'll direct you from there. You will receive a wafer, the body of Christ given for you. Someone will pour wine for you into the cup and say the words, the, the blood of Christ shed for you. When you're done with communion, you come around the baptismal font. And there's a tray here, and I'm sorry that I don't have it <laughs> in the view. There's a tray here for you to deposit your used cup. St. Matthew has been in this neighborhood for 75 years. Now, I was not here for those 75 years. I am in my sixth year of ministry. This is my first call. This is the first church that I have served, and it is a joy to serve. This church, it's a joy to serve Jesus. It's a joy to serve the neighborhood, the Grandview neighborhood and the larger community. 
I pray that God will, will introduce us one day. I pray that you come and you stay. I have been praying for you. And please, if you have any questions, you're, you're probably seeing this on our website. If you have any questions uh, can, about the church or attending here, please, the email listed on there for contact info at stmatthewelc.com or you could do pastor at stmattewelc.com. I'd love to answer any questions for you. More than anything, I pray that as you walk the pathways of this earth, please know that God poured out God's own self in Jesus Christ. God cared enough to be in relationship with us that God was born into this world, grew up into this world just like you and I do and have, learned a language learned a local language and spoke that language so that God could speak to people like you and me. God loves you. God wants to be in relationship with you. If I can help in any way to make that relationship happen, or strengthen that relationship, if this church, this body of Christ, the hands, the feet, the face, the ears, the nose, the mouth. If this church can help in any way, please let us do that. My prayer is that you know that God is with